Hi, this is Steve from Raybuck Auto Body Parts, as well as our brother company, Henry's Automotive Warehouse. I want to talk a little bit about the different types of drill bits and uh, hole cutters that we have to explain the difference in when you might want to use one versus the other. So the first bit that we're going to look at is a double-ended drill bit. As the name implies, it's a drill bit that has two different ends to it. Works just like a standard drill bit. Put it in a high-speed drill. When one side gets dull, you flip it over, put it in, you could use the other side. These come in a lot of different sizes. This is an eighth inch, which is pretty common. You can get it in three sixteenths or quarter or a number of other sizes. Really good for drilling out sheet metal. Uh, it can drill out spot welds, but one of the issues is, well, two issues. One, it could burn out a lot faster than some of the other bits we're gonna talk about. And two, it's most likely gonna damage the underlying panel. So if you drill out the spot, uh, spot weld with it, it's gonna go through both panels uh, and just give, give you a hole. Um, also very good though for drilling out rivets and other things like that. Second bit is a boron bit. It's uh, excellent for uh, high speed uh, or high strength steel. This is a quarter inch boron bit. Uh, you can see it's got the little uh, lip at the top or the little edge at the top. Uh, it's self-centering so it doesn't walk around. Uh, when you're trying to drill out a panel, these are fantastic for drilling out spot welds. The next one is a step bit. As the name implies, it steps up and gets larger. Um, this particular one steps in eighth inch increments, so it goes from eighth to inch and three eighths. These come in a lot of different sizes and, and shapes, or lengths I should say. Uh, what you typically do is drill a pilot hole with a standard bit, put the end of this in, and then keep drilling until you get to the size hole that you want. Uh, fantastic for uh, making larger holes in sheet metal and for uh, deburring a hole. Stick it in, give it a quick spin, and it'll take the burrs off of the hole. Next up, we have our spot weld cutters. Um, everything from here on uh, is going to be more geared towards spot weld cutting. This is a standard grade spot weld cutter. It's a double-ended cutter. So you can see the bit that's on here just unscrews and it has these teeth on it. So when the teeth get worn down, you take unscrew it, turn it around, screw it back on, and you have uh, the other side of the bit that you can use. These just come on a standard mandrel like this and they have the self-centering uh, punch on the end. You put it into your spot weld, go right into it. Um, it's really nice, it has a hollow design on the inside. So it just cuts the uh, nice little circle in the metal for the spot weld so that the outer panel comes right off and it doesn't affect the inner panel. Most of these types of bits uh, are uh, adjustable in depth so you can set it to whatever depth you need so it only cuts the outside panel. Typically out of these ones, out of these bits, you're gonna get maybe you know 10 to 20 holes uh, out of one side. They're really good for your standard uh, home use. Uh, maybe not so much out of a shop. And if you're in a shop, you probably want something a little bit more uh, beefy, kind of like this professional grade uh, spot weld cutter. This particular one, you're gonna get a lot of holes out of it. Works in a similar fashion. Put it in a high speed drill and uh, the bits just unscrew. They're single-sided, not double, but as you can see, uh, they are a lot, uh, a lot thicker than the other bit. Uh, they also have an interesting little uh, design, the way that it cuts through the metal. It actually uh, spits the chunks out a little bit faster so that it doesn't bind on itself, um, and it cuts a little bit quicker than, uh, than what the other one does. Again, these last a lot longer. You're probably going to get you know, 100 spot welds out of this one versus maybe 20 out of the other one. These also come in a kit. So we have a, a premium spot weld cutter kit. Comes with your center mandrel. It comes with the extra uh, center punch. And then three of these particular bits. These ones uh, are 3 eighths in size, which is a, a pretty standard size bit for uh, drilling out a spot weld. And then one of the other kits that we offer is a rotor brooch kit. Now, a lot of people may not have heard of that, um, it's just another name for these types of, of hole cutters. Uh, again, very similar to the ones we just looked at. They just come in, uh, in different sizes. So you can see for this particular bit, um, this is the, the three quarter inch. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry there. Uh, there you go. Three quarter inch. You can see the different teeth on it. This bit or this uh, kit comes in uh, or has bits that come from uh, five sixteenths all the way up to three quarters. Uh, it's really, really nice if you're going to be drilling a lot of holes, uh, whether it's spot, cutting out spot welds or just drilling holes. 
Um, you could drill it in sheet metal. Um, you could drill it all the way up to, uh, in anything up to a quarter inch uh, thick steel. So you might be doing some framework, some chassis work, um, or whatever the case may be. These things are fantastic for all that type of stuff. Um, and something you could do to help extend the life of any of these is use a stick lube. A lot of guys will use, uh, like use motor oil, uh, which does lubricate the end of the bit. Um, the stick lube does a better job than that, and it's not as messy. It doesn't spray all over the place. So the way this works, you just pop the end of the, the tube off. You can get your bit, just stick the bit down in there, give it a little dab, whether it's a you know, spot weld bit or a regular drill bit, put it down in there and uh, drill. And then every so often take the bit and stick it back in the tube, get a little bit more on there and, uh, and keep going. It does a fantastic job and it really extends the life of any of the bits that you're using. Again, whether it's a, uh, a regular drill bit or one of these uh, spot weld or rotor broach bits. And one other thing that I forgot to mention on the uh, rotor brooch kit, you can get these uh, particular types of bits and uh, diameter is all the way up to about, uh, I want to say about an inch and a half. So this particular kit only goes up to three quarters, but uh, these types of bits are available in, uh, in much larger sizes. So those are the types of uh, bits and hole cutters that, uh, that we offer and typically what you'll find in the market. Again, you might find um, you know, different sizes and lengths on some of these. Uh, types of bits, but again, those are the different uh, types that you're going to see for uh, for uh, this type of use, for whether you're dr drilling on a spot weld or just drilling holes uh, in sheet metal or in any type of like chassis work. Thanks for watching.